Kaiju in the Japanese terminology simply means strange creature. But the word has been adopted elsewhere to basically translate to giant monster. Now, the kaiju films have been wildly successful in Eastern cinema since the 1950s. But for some reason, it's never been a consistent success to Western audiences. The state of affairs, however, has changed today, which can be seen from the fact that the Pacific Rim and MonsterVerse franchises have established themselves in the world of cinema. Perhaps the tides are turning, but we're not here to talk about that today. Also, kaijus aren't simply limited to Pacific Rim and MonsterVerse only. And our list of the largest kaijus in movies strives to prove that fact for you today. So, folks, grab a seat and put your kaiju face on, because today we're counting down our picks of the top 10 largest ever kaijus to have ever appeared in movies. Now, let's begin. Number 10. Raijin, 358 feet. So the first kaiju in our list today is actually the most dangerous kaiju in Pacific Rim Uprising. And there can't be any doubts about that it's classified as a Category 5 badass. Raijin is bipedal, more T-Rex-like. Also, he's got a head almost resembling a Venus flytrap that enables him to close up in defense mode. He has the ability to absorb energy from any attack and then use it to power his body to use it as a weapon. On top of that, Raijin is also pretty darn huge as well. Number 9. Godzilla 2019 – 393 feet He fought for us, died for us. He's not only proof that coexistence is possible, he's the key to it. The true alpha, the king of the monsters, Godzilla. No kaiju listing would ever be complete without the mention of Godzilla. As of now, we're talking about the MonsterVerse incarnation of Godzilla, who's not just one of the most powerful but also one of the largest kaiju as well. The ancient king may have ranked pretty low on our list but possesses the capabilities to take on any of the gigantic kaijus from this list on any day. Long live the king! Number 8. Methuselah – 400 plus feet Methuselah is one of the new kaijus introduced in Godzilla King of the Monsters. A four-legged rock-like titan with horns on his head, Methuselah is a quadruped with a forest growing on his rocky and mountainous back. I mean, given if anybody encountered this kaiju in his dormant form, they'd probably think it's just a giant mountain. Methuselah serves as an example of a titan becoming one with the natural world, and he's ancient, even more so than the other titans. Number 7. Scunner – 441 feet Scunner is a Category 4 kaiju that protects the breach from the Jaegers alongside Slattern and Raiju. Scunner is also the largest Category 4 in Pacific Rim, and his appearance and behavior is similar to that of a bull. Broad and stocky, its two curved horns jutting out of its head act as battering rams against armored opponents like the Jaegers. Scunner also possesses four arms that aid in its ability to move faster than its opponents underwater. Number 6. Mega Kaiju – 500 feet What happens when you merge three different kaiju together? Mega Kaiju is exactly what you get. Since Mega Kaiju is a kaiju hybrid created using the forms of Category 4 and Category 5 Kaiju Region, Okuja and Shrikethorn. The kaiju that makes an appearance in Pacific Rim Uprising displays a few attributes of its previous forms and towers over the Jaegers. And so the name Mega is more than befitting. Number 5. King Ghidorah 2019 – 521 feet The One Who Is Many One of the largest incarnations of Ghidorah Legendary's Ghidorah is known to have a special kind of enmity with Godzilla himself. Ghidorah is an ancient monstrosity dating so far back that countless legends have been made based on his physical appearance. Through Ghidorah's constant demonstrations of power by merely existing, lesser titans flock to him and view him as their alpha, a king to lead them towards the destruction of humanity and the planet as we know it. Number 4. Slattern 596 feet 
The largest and strongest of all the known kaiju in the Pacific Rim franchise, Slattern is unrivaled by any of its brethren in battle. The creature's high toxicity levels and intelligence makes it the most lethal kaiju the Pan Pacific Defense Corps has ever faced. The Category 5 Kaiju has six clawed limbs and three tails that are deadly in close quarters combat. Slattern, beside being the largest and strongest, is also presumably the most cunning Kaiju in Pacific Rim, having been designed that way by its creators to combat the return gypsy danger. Number 3. Godzilla Earth 1043.31 feet the Avatar of Destruction, Godzilla Earth is the largest incarnation of the King of Monsters and also probably even the most powerful Godzilla incarnation as well. In the anime films, Godzilla Earth was shown to portray extremely devastating abilities, and it was able to cause more than several hundred million casualties in the 12 to 13 years since its first appearance. Moreover, if its sheer size wasn't enough, this God of Destruction could even spawn a smaller, nearly identical, cell-divided clone of itself called the Godzilla Phileas. Number 2. Clover Cloverfield Paradox 29,040 feet Clover is the eldest species of the Cloverfield monsters, and that ending scene where a Cloverfield monster comes roaring out of the clouds is truly epic. The clover is a giant among giants, even when we compare it in kaiju terms. It's a behemoth simply a class above the rest. Clover is the eldest species of the Cloverfield monster and is extremely thick skin, which is heat resistant and enables it to thrive in extremely high pressure environments, as well as cope under heavy fire from human weaponry. Number 1. Void Ghidorah 65,616.8 feet if you're another kaiju freak like us, you probably saw it coming. The King of the Void, Void Ghidorah, is the three-headed interdimensional dragon kaiju. This incarnation of Ghidorah is not only the largest King Ghidorah incarnation, nor only the largest Toho kaiju till date, but it's possibly the largest kaiju to ever exist. The Void Ghidorah is the eater of worlds and spends most of its time destroying planets, so you can easily bet that it's pretty damn huge to say the least. Fun fact, the Void Ghidorah may very well be even way larger than even we've estimated. So that was the last blast. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to keep watching more videos like these, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, stay indoors and stay safe.